Hey guys, welcome to another Sonically Sound video. Today we're going to be going over DSing. You might not know what DSing is, or you probably do if you've selected this video, but quickly I'll explain. It's basically the sibilance in a vocal. Sibilance is the S's, CH and SH sounds. You can hear them cut through when someone's speaking. These aren't too intrusive to a track, but certain vocals might be more intrusive than others, and you might want to minimise it. Um, so what I've done here is, this is the vocal here, but you can see I've done a lot of work here on it. Um, but I want to start fresh, um, so you guys can see. Um, if we have a listen to the track, I'm going to solo it, and then we can hear what the vocal sounds like. How did your love ever reach me? How did your grace ever see me? I was so far away. So when she says reach and so, you can really hear the s and ch come through. Um, it's not too bad, but we're going to work on it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up this, um, go into dynamics, and you see that there is a deesser tab. I personally don't use the deesser. I can't. I don't really like the uh, interface. Um, and I just. I just can't. I can't get it to work the way I want it to. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it on the compressor. So same way, dynamics, and it's just compressor instead. Um, so let me open that up. So that opens up with the bog standard Logic 10 compressor. Um, it, it's on Platinum Digital. You can use the other ones. Platinum Digital works fine. And basically what's going to happen is we're going to compress the vocal but only the um, frequency where the sibilance is happening because um, then we're not cutting out the whole frequency of the sibilance because there's actually quite a lot of quality and good sound in that um, frequency that we don't want to get rid of so what we're going to do is go, go sidechain basically what this does is we're going to send um, that vocal into the sidechain um, and you can see here that now all these uh, have opened up so you've got frequency so that's going to select the frequency of the uh, of the sibilance so that's what we'll use to find it you've got Q that's um, the the size of the uh, bell curve um, we'll have it we'll keep it at one for now so we can locate the frequency and then we'll get it tighter to five when we want to um, do some fine tuning on that and really get rid of the main frequency. Uh, you've got mode here, and so you can see all these. Um, so you've got LP, HP, um, par EQ, and HS, um, and BP. BP is the one we're going to use. That's bandpass. So those are the um, the normal EQ curves you get on a parametric EQ. So we're going to open that one, and so um, you'll also notice that there's this filter option um, at the moment it's off which basically means the side chain just isn't active whatsoever um, then there's on which will activate the uh, side chain and the, um, compress the vocal on the s's and then listen listen is what we want right now basically it's going to allow us to only listen to the frequency that's being selected this means that we can find the frequency we want before we uh, start doing it it's quite hard to do it the other way around when compressing a vocal and starting to hear it disappear so what we're going to do is we're going to have a listen and we're just going to find the vocal how did your love ever reach me how did your grace ever see me i was so far away i was so far away so you can see there when she started saying so the the vu meter here jumped up a bit and I think I found the right frequency here at about uh, 10.5k hertz, um, which is great. So we found that. Um, then what I probably want to do is make this really tight, put it up to max 5, and then I'll listen to it again and see if I've missed the frequency slightly and I can do some fine tuning to it. So 
So now that I've fine-tuned it a bit, it's missing the ch, but it's grabbing the C and so. So I'm going to leave it at 5 because I'm fine-tuning it. And now what we do is turn off the auto again as usual. And then we start to use the compressor like a compressor, but it's just working on that frequency. So we keep it on listen, and then we start to work the threshold and the ratio so see how hard we're pushing it. Um, I like to have it on graph so I can I can kind of see a bit more what's going on, but you don't have to if you don't want to. The meter works just as good. So you can see there that um, now that I've set the threshold differently, the reach is just kind of coming through, but only a little bit. It's being compressed a tiny bit, and that's probably fine. Uh, you also noticed maybe that I was messing around with the ratio a bit. I had it on 2, uh, which I thought wasn't really enough to compress, but when I put it on 3 to 1, um, it's compressing it maybe a bit too much. So I put it nice in the middle. You can see that uh, on the graph it was, it was picking up and compressing it nicely. Um, so now what we can do is we can do on. Um, and then we'll be able to hear the whole thing um, and you might not notice if it sounds different um, but we'll give it a listen anyway how did your love ever reach me how did your grace ever see me i was so far away so it's catching it now and um, pushing it down a bit it's sounding a lot better um, I mean, it's not. I haven't EQ'd any of it, so that's maybe why it's sounding um, a bit off in my ears. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but yeah, that's um, how a compressor works. Side chaining it for a deesser. Um, it's really straightforward, as I'm sure you guys saw. Um, you just got to find the frequency. So really, it's all about using your ears and really, really listening in. Um, so train your ears up for that. And as long as you understand compression, uh, it should be fine. Yes, yeah, so that's how you DS a vocal. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you think I missed anything, or you want to know how to do more stuff on Logic Pro 10, put it in the comments below, and if there's enough comments, I'll get to it. If you want to see how to use compression, click the link here.